What's up, everybody? This is Rob of Archangel Inc., www.archangelinc.com. And in this video, I want to talk about what trim size should I select for my book. Now, there are a number of factors to consider, and I want to go over a few of those so you can make an informed choice when it comes to self-publishing your project. Uh, I will say I will jump to the <laughs> jump ahead, and my recommendation is generally going to be something like five by eight or six by nine if you're printing in black and white, or uh, something like eight by ten or eight and a half by eleven if you're printing in color. But let's jump into why I make those recommendations. So the first thing that you should take into consideration when you're selecting your trim size is what genre are you in? What are the conventions of your genre? What are the books that are being published in your genre? What sizes are they being printed in? And generally, if you don't know, if you don't have any prevailing reason to select something different, go with whatever is most common. I would say that for nonfiction, generally you're looking at six by eight or, or excuse me, six by nine or five by eight. And I have some books here and I can give some examples. Now, this is one of our projects. This is written by Dr. Eric Lewis, naturopathic doctor. And this is a nonfiction book. It's in the health and wellness arena. And that's six by nine. Now, uh, this is another book also in the health arena. Uh, this is published by a traditional publishing house, um, Solving the Paleo Equation, written by Matt Stone and Dr. Garrett Smith. And this is Victory Belt Publishing. Um, and that's also, excuse me, six by nine. Um, now that is, I would say the most common trim size for a, uh, a nonfiction book kind of in that arena. Now, if you are publishing fiction, fiction tends to be a little bit smaller. Here is an example of a fiction book. This is Big Fish by Daniel Wallace. Um, some of you may know of it. It was made into a movie, um, fun book. And this is a little bit smaller. This is, I believe, uh, five and a half by eight and a half. Um, five by eight is also somewhat common. You know, you think about books that are printed and, you know, show up as trade paperbacks and you're looking in that sort of uh, five by eight range, maybe even a little bit smaller. But again, the best recommendation I would have is when you're selecting to see what other books you're competing against and select that trim size. Now, um, I also mentioned that there is the consideration of black and white versus print or excuse me, color when you're selecting your print size. Um, when it comes to Create Space and KDP Print and Ingram Spark, for that matter, um, they're the, in general they're going to uh, charge you a printing cost based on the number of pages that you print rather than the number of words in your book. So if you have a color book, prices uh, for printing are going to be substantially higher, and so you're going to want to select uh, or find a good balance between uh, page count and um, you know, information on the page. So if you're doing a, a color book, we would often recommend something like eight by 10 or eight and a half by 11, because you'll get the same uh, information delivered, but you'll be able to have fewer pages, which will reduce your per unit printing costs. Now, um, again, this has to do with uh, genre as well and conventions of the genre, but um, the most common books that we've seen that are printed in color are going to be cookbooks. Here's an example. This is Craig Fears, The Thai Soup Secret, which we published and which is great. Um, and you can see inside, and uh, let's see, you know, it's full color. There's lots of good information in here, lots of beautiful pictures and uh, images to demonstrate what, um, what the recipes will look like when produced. Um, and that's gonna be uh, a little bit bigger trim size and it will reduce the printing cost a little bit. Um, another example is Real Food Recovery, also one of our books, Mandy Bloom, another great one. And this one has, you know, lots of images of family and recipes and, and that kind of thing. So um, color books may, may work in many cases. It depends on what your, uh, what your goals are, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. I would say in general, anticipate that uh, black and white books are going to be significantly less expensive, 50% less maybe 75% less per, uh, per page than a color book. But, um, but you want to you know, make that determination for yourself and figure out what is going to be the right balance. So, I mean, you certainly could produce a book like this, an eight by 10 in let's say a, um, a five by eight, but 
if you do that, then you're probably gonna double your page count and you're going to rather significantly increase the per unit cost. So you gotta figure out what's gonna make sense for you. Now, the other thing to take into consideration is where you're printing. I mentioned KDP Print and CreateSpace and Ingram Spark. Those are the print, uh, principal print on demand providers that are out there and uh, they have lists of all the various trim sizes that they make available. And I'll include links to all of those down below, <coughs> excuse me, in this video um, so you can see and see what's available. Not all trim sizes are going to be available in all of the different uh, uh, print options that are out there. So for example, uh, black and white has more uh, trim size options than color uh, for just about all of those. Um, if you are planning to make it expanded, or make it available for expanded distribution or in other markets, there are certain trim sizes that are going to be more uh, universally applicable and will be covered by those um, outside distributors, those expanded distributors, and some that won't. So those are factors to take into consideration. Anyway, the, the shorthand is, uh, for most people, I would say most of our books end up being either five by eight or six by nine, and that is uh, a good general recommendation. Uh, one other thing that I will mention, this is our self-publishing series, which is available uh, for free on um, on Amazon and through our website. You can check it out, and it's five by eight. It's a rather short book. It's designed to be really easy and digestible, and this one clocks in around 60 pages. So um, one of the reasons I selected five by eight is because with um, with it being the sort of page count that it is, it's only... 6,000, 7,000 words or so. It is a little bit more substantial in that smaller trim size. If I tried to make it eight and a half by 11, it's going to uh, uh, look more like a pamphlet than a um, than an actual book. So five by eight has a, um, a better look, a better feel for that content. So if you're producing something that is really short, you might wanna consider a smaller trim size. If you're producing something that's somewhat longer, then uh, a larger trim size may be an option for you. And again, it's just about determining what's going to make sense in terms of the printing costs and the uh, genre and all of that in your case. Uh, another thing to look out for, and I will include a link down below uh, for the CreateSpace um, price estimate. So you can enter the number of pages and uh, the trim size, and they'll give you a per unit cost estimate on what it's gonna actually cost to produce that book. So you can see for yourself, oh, okay, well, if I do it in six by nine and it's 300 pages, uh, it's gonna cost this much. And if I do it in five by eight and it ends up being 350 pages, it's gonna cost that much and so forth. And you get to determine for yourself what's going to be the uh, the best path forward. So I hope that's useful. Uh, there's a lot of information, a lot of factors to consider when you are determining this, but ultimately um, following the genre conventions is going to be your best bet. Um, if you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will do my best to answer them either in the comments or in a subsequent video. This is Rob Archangel of archangelinc.com and I will see you folks next time.